Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you some weekly wows. Um, these are some products that I took with me on a recent business trip that my husband and I took. And so I thought I would share those with you. So let's get started. So anyway, like I said, my husband and I went on a business trip. It was just for three days. We went to Choctaw, Mississippi. Um, one of our dealers was um, doing a gun show. So we didn't go to Vegas to the giant gun show this year. We opted to go to a smaller one, which was so much better. It was a lot lower key. Um, we were actually able to visit with some more suppliers and it was just, it was a lot better. Um, two days of the three days was travel because we drove. And so one day was actually spent at the shot show or at the gun show. But anyway, that was okay. And it was a nice little getaway. And um, so I thought I would just kind of share with you some of the items that I took in my travel bag. And these are products that I've had in my collection for a little while. And they are probably some products that you have in your collection. And so I thought I would share with you. So the first thing that I have to share with you today is from Too Faced. And this is the Too Faced um, chocolate chip. And this they came out with to, um, it's a companion palette, I guess, to the, um, the chocolate, the um, chocolate bar palette. Is that what it's called? So this is the chocolate chip. It's just a smaller version of the chocolate bar palette. It's called the matte chocolate chip. I did create my eye look with this today. And it's just perfect for travel um, because first of all, it's very, very thin. It does not take up a whole lot of room in your makeup bag. And you can create a complete eye look with it, with just the colors that are in here, with the exception of a shimmer shade. That is not included in this palette. But as far as a complete matte eye look, you can most definitely do that with this shadow here. I keep seeing this weird thing pop up on my screen here, and I hope that is not relaying to what you guys are going to be seeing. Oh, I hope not. So when I start to edit this and I see that one there, I, oh, I hope not. Anyway, we're gonna proceed. So anyway, it has, you know, it has an all over um, color here that you can, that is like a flesh toned that you can put all over the lid for a canvas color, which is what I did. It has a crease color here, which is what I used today in the crease. And then it has several, several colors that you can put into the outer edge, depending on what um, you're wearing. I opted today to use this color here, which is a hunter green. This color I used two different days um, while we were there, because the first day that we were there, I wore um, some camo <laughs> um, because you know we were there at a shot show or a gun show and there was a lot of people in camo there <laughs> um, which is um, maybe not quite my style but it worked perfectly for the occasion so um, that is like I said what I have on the outer portion of my lid here and I have that in the crease, but I also wore like this burgundy color. That was really pretty. I think I wore that on our travel day. My husband was like, just get up and just throw your clothes on. It's just travel. It's just going to be you and me. You don't need to put all your makeup on. I was like, there was like crickets playing. Yeah, it was a cricket sound. I'm like, are you kidding me? No, I gotta have my makeup on. I don't care if it's just you and me in the car and we're just in the car for eight hours. I don't care, I gotta have my makeup on. But you can create, um, there's some warm colors. There's definitely some really pretty um, cool purple shades in here that you could do. I mean, you can get a really soft, pretty feminine look with this palette, it's just really, really pretty. And I very much enjoy this palette. And I'll uh, see, we got back on 
Friday. So I wore this Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday and Sunday. So I've worn this for the last five days in a row and I really do like it. And it has the signature um, cocoa smell to it. So it does, it is infused with the cocoa. Very nice. Um, I know a lot of people say if you had the, the chocolate bar palette that you didn't need that one, but um, I say for travel, this is really, really nice. Um, and I, I still pull it out even if I'm not traveling. I still like it because it's really easy to use. It blends really good and I very much enjoyed using it. Now this guy right here, Everybody remember this? I think this is probably what started the highlight trend. It's the first one I remember everybody talking about. This is from the Balm uh, Mary Luminizer. I am wearing it as my cheek highlighter. And the reason why I pulled this to take with me first is because it's a beautiful highlighter for one thing. Plus, I figured with it being like that champagne highlight color, it would work really, really well as a um, highlight or a glitter brightening eyeshadow. And that's what I used here in this portion of the lid to create kind of that little bit of a brightening aspect on the lid that I like to put that's just right in here. So that's why I picked Mary Luminizer to take with me on my little trip. Plus you gotta love the little packaging that um, goes with the balm. They always create such cute packaging. And you don't really hear too much of people talking about the balm anymore. It's kind of like with everything else that's come out, the balm has kind of gone by the wayside. But if you have Mary Luminizer, get her out, pull her out because she is beautiful still today. And like I said, I have her on, not only on my cheeks, but on my little eyelids. And she was beautiful all five days that I have been wearing her. And I was not disappointed, really loved using her. And the tool that I brought with me to use to put her on my eyelids is this um, eyeshadow brush from Sonia G. And this is, oh, I gotta have my little, oh, hang on. My little grandson was here yesterday and he likes to completely rearrange my room. So hang yes. on. He is one and he likes to get in all of my makeup drawers and take things out and put them into other drawers or I have my jewelry armoire that's over here on this side and I will find eyeliners over here where my earrings are at or I'll find earrings over here in my jewelry. <laughs> I find stuff everywhere. Matter of fact, my two bringer that I have is out in the living room on the coffee table, table and my um, Coasters, my thing of coasters is sitting in here. <laughs> yeah, he does. He just likes, he likes to move things around. And um, after he's been here, I have to rearrange everything. But anyway, this is the Sonia G. What is this? The Sonia G, da, 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 the Smudger One brush. I got this off of Beautylish. Um, it's a Japan made brush, um, squirrel, hair, squirrel hair, I do believe. I'm not mistaken, but the reason why I wanted this little brush here um, is because this is just the perfect size for me to get product and just get it right in, right into the right size here. Let's see, am I going the right way? It's hard for me to tell in my monitor because everything's backwards. Right in here, it's just the right size to get the little bit of product that I need on there and just work it into that little area where I want to put my shimmer product onto the eyelid and it just packs it on so pretty and it just works beautifully. I really do like this because sometimes when I get it on my finger, I get a little bit too much and I get and it's kind of hard to work it onto that section there where this is a little bit smaller then what my finger is and I can work it a little bit better and it's a little easier to control. So that's why I like that and that's why I always take 
this brush with me or use this brush to really work in that little section right there. So that I took that with me and enjoyed using that brush for that purpose. And that's why I ordered it to use it for that purpose. And then the blush that I took with me and I used this, this is the only blush that I took. And this is from Tarte and it's in the um, Amazonian Clay, the 12 hour blush and it's in the color Prim. Wasn't that the girl's name, the sister off of, um, oh, what was those movies called? It's just right there on my head and I can't remember. But anyway, this is the color here. Have it on, wearing it, sporting it today. Just perfect and it lasts all day. I mean, definitely a 12 hour blush because we had, you know, that day of travel all both days of travel it was like eight to nine hours of hard travel because we only made just a few stops and then the day of the shot show or the gun show i keep calling it shot show but anyway the gun show it was an all day affair with meeting with our um our rep and just going through all the different um, booths and it held up, it's not streaky, it's not patchy, it just goes on. You can definitely build it up if you need to build it up. It's not chalky, it's very smooth, and it's just really, really pretty. I don't know if this is a permanent color or if this was a, a special one that came in a kit or of that nature, but the formulation in general they're really good as far as the blush goes but i just thought that that was really pretty i figured with all of the looks that i wanted to create with um this palette that that blush would go with it would um you know work with every color so because it didn't to me it didn't lean too cool and it didn't lean too warm it was more of a neutral blush and so i felt like it would work perfectly I felt like it looked good in my the way I looked at it and the way it looked in the hotel <laughs> it looked good you know how it is when you're trying to get ready in a hotel room that was another reason why I picked these because I knew that they were good workhorses and I knew with getting ready in a hotel room with the lighting that's always bad i knew that these were going to blend out perfectly i didn't have to worry about how they were going to look if there was going to be any sharp edges that they were going to look good same way with the blush i knew it was going to look good same way with this guy i just knew they were all going to work they were going to look good it wasn't going to look like when i got down to the little convention center that I wasn't going to look like I was a clown or look like I was out of place because, you know, let's face it, most of the majority of the people down there were guys and, you know, I didn't, I didn't want to look bad. I didn't want my husband to be embarrassed, you know, like, oh my God, did you see that guy's wife? She looked like a total clown. So I didn't need to put her makeup on her right, you know, that type thing. I wanted to look nice. I wanted to look good for him, and, you know, to be proud, for him to be proud of me and, and to look good and to represent, you know, our business and to look professional. So I felt like those products accomplished with what I was looking for. And then the eyeliners that I took with me um, were these two right here, and these were from the Pure um, um, collection. These are from two of the products that are in the giveaway. And speaking of the giveaway, the winner of the giveaway will be listed in the description box of this video. So make sure you check out the description box because the winner will be listed in that description box. But anyway, um, I think this is probably the third or fourth time that I've talked about these eyeliners because I really do like them. I have on today this green colored one. This one is called, the color of it is called um, da -da 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 -da, On Point. But I, I took these because one, I don't have to sharpen them. They're self-sharpening. 
two, they're long lasting, and three, they glide on like a dream. They're very easy to glide on, they don't tug, they just go on very smoothly. I don't have to worry about them um, fading throughout the day. They are long lasting, and I just like them. It's just so smooth. That one's the green color that I have on. And then I also took this brown color, which is called Down to Earth. Those two colors are what I took because I knew that those two colors would work with any of the eye looks that I created throughout those um, three days that I was gone and just worked perfectly. Um, like I said, these are smudge proof self-sharpening just go on really really good and can't go wrong with these little pure eyeliners just gosh i love them so much and you can sharpen them too they're um, self-sharpening so wonderful so that is it for this week's weekly wows i hope that you have enjoyed um, don't forget to um, click on the little subscribe button um, i would love for you to um, join join the team here and also to click on the um, bell icon notification that so that you're notified of all future videos um, you definitely want to be subscribed because um, I do have another giveaway coming up here pretty soon and it's going to be a good one. So anyway, thank you so much and I'll talk to you soon.